pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Central Valley. It's Lauren Hamilton, and alongside me is Zachary Petty with your announcements for today, Thursday, September 10th. Attention all NHS members. Please check your email for important information concerning a fall service project. This is a mandatory project. See Ms. Jones with any further questions. In 2009, Central Valley joined the Beaver County Mock Trial Competition. Each year, students prepare for roles as attorneys and witnesses and present their cases in court at the Beaver County Courthouse. If you are interested in the field of law or in acting in drama and would like to join Mock Trial, you can learn more about it at our first meeting. The first meeting will be held this Thursday, September 10th, 2016 at 2.05 in the auditorium. Mr. Ronald Sullivan will be there to meet with those interested. Attention freshmen, you'll be voting today, September 10th, for your class president and class officers. Please open the email that you will receive from Mrs. Kramer and click on the link. Please read the directions and resubmit the email for your vote to be tallied. Attention all 12th grade students, this Thursday, September 10th, all seniors will be voting for the 2015 homecoming court. All seniors will receive an email from Mrs. Kramer on Thursday, September 10th. Please open the email and click on the link. Please read the directions and resubmit the email for your vote to be tallied. Yeah, you heard it from the source, CV. That's your announcements, and now here's Lexi and Reese with your sports. Good morning, CV. It's Reese and Lexi here with your sports. On Tuesday, the boys' soccer team won 10-0 versus Mohawk. Jack Shear scored four goals, Zach Petey had two, and Devin Hennessy, Zach Engelman, and Marco Antonio all contributed with one, and Matt Kirkwood also scored on a penalty shot. The girls' volleyball team also played on Tuesday. They won all three sets versus Stowe Rocks. Tomorrow, the girls' volleyball team will be back in action versus the Montour Spartans home at 7.30. The girls' golf team won against Butler by 36 strokes, and the girls' tennis team will face Fort Cherry today at 3.30. Today at 7, the boys' soccer team will face off against Beaver. Friday, the football team looks to bounce back versus the Black Hawk Cougars at their place. The student section theme will be a beach out. In the athletic office, Miss Carla will be selling scars for $20. See Zach Petty for more information. That's all for your sports. Have a great day, Central Valley. Hey, what's up, CV? It's Zach with Noah the Bean Barrelero here. We came out with the pirate segment. Uh, yeah, we went around the school and uh, asked some fellow pirate fans. It's Bucko Fever going around. We just wanted to ask their opinions on if uh, they're going to make the World Series or not. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm here with uh, Andrew Bear. How you doing, sir? Pretty good. We're here to talk about Pittsburgh Pirates and uh, what are your opinions on them? They're looking pretty good this year. They're a, a long playoff run. I think they could overtake the Cardinals. I think they can. I think they can pull the World Series. That's a bold prediction there. Yeah. That's all, folks. It's very Thank you. So, Mr. King, uh, what's your thoughts on the Pirates this coming season? So far? Um, as we are sitting right now on September 2nd, I think that so far this year, we're playing like the second best team in the National League. Um, it's unfortunate we are in the same division as the Cardinals because it will, it will likely come down. If I was to bet on it, it's going to come down to one game playoff with the Cubs. And um, and it's, it's a 50 50 coin flip from there. Do you, think, do you think we can catch the Cardinals? No, I, mean, I do not think we have the, the, the Cardinals just haven't slowed down. They haven't been in the close. Um, especially with a big series of the Brewers, we have to take care of business against teams like the Brewers and the Reds um, before we can worry about even this weekend series against the Cardinals. Now, do you think with Joey Mercer and Josh Harris to come back, do you think that that's going to help us improve anything? But you say not too much just to even catch the Cardinals. I just don't think our pitching has been, it was excellent, especially in June and July. But in a possible AJ return, possibly. Oh, that, that's a huge. That, there's so many questions. Uh, Jay has been good. Um, AJ is excellent until he also breaks until he got hurt. Yeah. It's just, I hope, truthfully, being realistic, I believe they'll, they're four and a half out now, I believe. Yeah. Um, behind the Cardinals. To make it up, they would have to take three or four against the Brewers, two or three, hopefully, against the Cardinals, and then. 
it, it's just hard to make a full lot of money. It's just, it'll be tough to catch. It'll be tough to catch. Well, you, you see the Pirates in the postseason. Oh, we'll be in the postseason. That will happen. But then it'll come down to what happens and see if Garrett Cole can get it done. And then, then we play the Cardinals. We're going to play the Cardinals. You hear it straight from the source, CB. Have a good day. Go. Uh, I'm here with Scott Hughes, a uh, good Pirates fan. We're here to ask you some questions. Right. How do you think they're doing so far this year? Uh, they're doing pretty good, you know. Can't win in Milwaukee, but I mean, you know, I think they're going to catch the Cardinals and win the division. Think serious World Series contender? Uh, I don't think this year, but uh, definitely in the future. I feel like they need another starter, starter in their rotation. Yeah, definitely. All right, thanks, Scott. Yep. Thanks for your time. Thanks.